Hey everyone, it's Maya of Maya Superfoods and welcome to our channel. Today we're switching things up just a bit. We're making chocolate sea salt granola. And oh my God, it is so delicious. You guys are gonna love it. But the problem is it's dangerously delicious. I make one batch that's supposed to last me the entire week, but I eat it in a matter of days. So just be careful. <laughs> Oops. Stick around for the end. I'll be using the granola as an oatmeal topping and we'll be doing a taste test. There's something about homemade granola that just hits different. And this recipe in particular is extra tasty. When I first had it, I had it with some almond milk and oh my God, it tasted just like Cocoa Puffs. Yes guys, that cereal. I'm sure you guys remember the commercials with the little crazy bird saying, go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Well, this tastes just like that, but it's much healthier. And it's gonna take you right back to those Saturday mornings as a kid when you would watch your cartoons and you'd have a big bowl of Cocoa Puffs. All right, let's get started. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss one of our weekly videos. All right, back to our show. All right, so for today's recipe, we're gonna need three cups of rolled oats, a cup of nuts, you can use whatever types you prefer. Today I'm using a mix of cashews, almonds, walnuts, and hazelnuts, an eighth cup of raisins, a third cup of cacao powder, three tablespoons of sugar, I'm using coconut, two tablespoons of chia seeds, a teaspoon of sea salt, a fourth cup of coconut oil, a half cup of syrup, I'm using brown rice syrup, but you can also use maple. And my secret ingredient, pinole. This is totally optional, but in my house, we put this in everything. Pinole is a Latin American superfood that gives you amazing energy and keeps you satiated. I'm creating an oatmeal product to using this superfood. And if you wanna learn more about it, I'll include a link in the description. Okay, let's start off by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. Now to your food processor, add your oats, nuts, raisins, your chia seeds and pinole, salt, and cacao powder. Pulse it just a few times to combine it all and to shred your oats, nuts, and raisins a bit. Oh my God, I forgot to add my sugar. So here we go, three tablespoons of sugar. Now using a saucepan over low heat, Warm up the coconut oil and maple syrup. Now continue mixing the two and do this until it's melted, which just a heads up happens pretty quickly. Now take the mix and pour it over your dry ingredients in the food processor. Pulse it just a few times, maybe three or four, so that your mixture combines with the rest of the ingredients and so your oats and nuts become a finer texture. Wasn't that easy? Now comes the even easier part. Take your mixture and spread it evenly onto a baking sheet with foil wrapped around it. A little taste test before the actual taste test. <laughs> this is ready to go in the oven. It should take about 20 minutes or so. And now we wait. As promised in our video title, I wanted to show you guys what I did over the July 4th holiday weekend, which is one of my favorite holidays in the summer. So, so I did a little bit of vlogging to show you guys what I was up to. All right, check it out. Hey everyone, so I am about to go on a run, but I wanted to show you the bowl of pinole I had this morning, obviously 4th of July themed. It was so tasty and pretty and the perfect fuel for my run. Let's go. So I just got to the beach and you guys are gonna love this. Oh. 
Something else I love about the beach is putting my toes in the sand. It makes me feel so fuzzy and relaxed and I really love it. It's such a great feeling. All right, so since we're now at the halfway mark, let's mix our granola just a bit to make sure it bakes evenly. Once it's done, take it out of the oven and let it cool off completely. Whoa, if you could only smell this, this aroma is pure deliciousness. Today for our taste test, we're adding this to a bowl of oatmeal. So let's prepare that. But I also love adding the granola to yogurt or having it as cereal as I said before. Now we're ready to do our taste test on our chocolate sea salt granola. I cannot wait. It smells so good in this house. Oh my gosh. As you guys saw, I put mine on top of some oatmeal, which I typically do. I'll make a big batch of granola and I'll put it on my oatmeal or I'll put it on yogurt. All right, let's see how this batch turned out. This is pure deliciousness. It just takes the oatmeal to the next level. It's nutty, sweet, salty, just the perfect combination. So if you're craving something sweet and salty, this granola is for you. Which is me a lot of the times. I feel like a, I feel like a lot of times I can't decide on what I want. So things like this for me are perfect where you can have a little bit of both. Let's have another bite. Mm. Hopefully I don't have granola on my teeth. If so, sorry guys. Nothing like homemade granola. You can buy this stuff at the store but it's just not the same. So much better when you make it at home. And you can really make it like you want. You can alter this recipe, you can alter another one that you find online. It's, it's so simple. So now that I've had about 10 bites of this, I've eaten a lot of it, uh, I think I'm ready to rate it. I, I should be ready to rate it after eating so much of it. Um, so like I said, perfect combination of sweet and salty. It's chocolatey and who doesn't want that in the mornings? I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a nine. And I'm gonna go ahead and rate it that for three reasons. It's tasty, it's easy to make, and it's healthy. All right, that's it for us now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this week's recipe video. And if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss one of our weekly videos. All right, until next week.